This is Dean, and we are Grassroots, Grassroots Living. Living, and this is how we live our love. Hi friends, we're so glad you're with us again today. We're wearing orange, aren't we so cute? <laughs> Not my best color. But it's okay, we were, um, we're working a split shift today. So we worked this morning and we've got a, uh, two or three hours off. Yeah. And then we're gonna go back to work and we just didn't wanna change for filming. So you get to see, see us looking like little tangerines. It's all right. <laughs> we're gonna take you to Maine today. And I know that if you saw our thumbnail, you're like, what the heck is going on? But here's the thing. We debated on whether or not that we wanted to show you guys what we're showing you today because we're not negative people at all. We like to keep everything positive and upbeat. But there's a couple things that we um, found in Maine that were, we felt like we needed to warn you, yeah. like legit warn you. Yeah, what was interesting is as we left uh, Quebec City and went through Canada, roads were fine. And then we got within oh, 15 miles of the Canadian US border and the roads in Canada just started not being very good yeah and uh, in fact that was about the place for the last town and then I got to thinking well it could just be that you know nobody really lives that last 15 miles you know between the US border and Canada and so maybe they just let it go you know it's like if you're leaving my nation anyhow and so when, when we got to the border crossing I was telling the the border patrol guy there and I said boy I, I am looking forward to getting back to the United States where the roads are so much better. And what was his exact words? Um, he said, I hear that from a lot of people. He said, but for, for the next 60 to 70 miles, it's pretty rough. Yeah. And boy, it was unbelievable. It was like going through a minefield. I was having to cross over into the other lane to avoid huge potholes. And yeah. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna show you a little bit of video of that. Now keep in mind, this video is done with a, with a GoPro camera, which has its own internal stabilization that's legit. I mean, people use their GoPro cameras to film you know, rugged bike rides and stuff. And the GoPro was on a gimbal, which is a secondary, um, what am I trying to say? Stabilizer. Stabilizer. Yeah, this was filmed with that. So watch how bumpy this is. This is um, on US Highway 201 coming south out of Canada. Yeah, headed towards the town of Jackman, Maine. Okay, so take a look at this. Are we at the end or are we at the start? One under 29 beats per minute from my heart. Anywhere we go is where Okay, so that was just um, the first introduction that we had to the roads in Maine. All the time that we were in Maine, we really struggled with the roads. Um, we like to stay off the main interstates. That's just how we like to travel. But the roads in Maine were dangerous, dangerous. And they were the state, Literally, like the state roads. They were crowned like this. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you can actually see it, but they were crowned like this. And so, with our truck camper, I felt like at any moment we were just gonna tip over. 
Yeah. And, and there was no shoulder. Yeah, and sometimes there was about a 12 inch to 15 inch just straight ledge. There was no shoulder, so. It was so sketchy. And there are things that we loved about Maine, and there'll be another Maine video next week. Um, but I'm just not real sure I would go back. Now the interstates were fine, but the, we're not yeah. interstate travel kind of people. Yeah. So. Okay. So the next thing we're going to show you, and this is um, the one where we said, uh, you know, because like on the thumbnail I put, viewer discretion is advised. And I mean that legitimately. You may not want to watch this next part. And even though we saw a lot of it, I'm only showing you a few seconds. And that is their rest areas. When you come in from Canada, and I, it was so frustrating because the Canadians that come down into Maine on this highway probably think all of the United States is like this. And I've never seen anything like this ever anywhere. But the rest areas were, well, okay, the rest areas themselves were fine. But the restrooms at the rest areas were grotesque. Like I said, I've, I've just never seen anything like it. Two, one there, of the biggest problems was simply the fact that there were no trash cans. Exactly. So everybody just took their trash and threw it into the, the restroom. Right. So that was a, a problem. And I just don't know why they're not getting cleaned, but the toilets themselves were. And this is last summer, well before COVID. So. Yeah. If you are from Maine or travel that often and you believe or you know for a fact that this is somehow a fluke for whatever reason, please comment and let us know because we've only been to Maine once. And as far as we know, this is just how Maine is. <laughs> um, and we just want to show you this because we want to warn you. We had a little camper, so we had our own bathroom. But if you don't have your own bathroom, you better pee before you get on that road because you don't want to go. So if you're squeamish, close your eyes for the next 20 seconds. Here we go. All right, so that was rough. That was yucky and we apologize, but we, won. We, we really felt like we needed to put it out there. And like I said, if you're from Maine and this is a fluke, please let us know in the comments so that we can share that with our viewers. Okay, next, the rest of the video is gonna be just happy. We're happy people, we wanna be happy. <laughs> and Maine was absolutely oh, exquisite. Yes, yes. Beautiful. So let's go to Moxie Falls. Bye. 
minutes and I totally forgot. I have to look that up. It wasn't a it wasn't a long hike. Yeah, it wasn't a short one, but it, it was a de decent ish hike. Super like casual. It was just a gorgeous, gorgeous little hike. And as you saw, the payoff was beautiful. So we really enjoyed Moxie Falls. So let's go to Jackman Landing Campground. That was a nice little campground. They've um, got they had nice showers. It was older, but they were nice showers, nice laundry facilities and restroom. And the sites, a lot of the sites were right on the water. Yeah. The and moose, it was the moose River. Moose River, we, right on the yeah, Moose River. In fact, we're able to wade out in it yeah. and just hang out there for a while. Crystal clear. Yeah. So we're just going to leave you today with a little bit of that footage and, and we're done right. for the day. If you enjoyed what you saw today, minus the um, nasty pit toilets and the bumpy roads, please like, subscribe, and share. And um, are we good? We are good. Okay, like I said, we're going to be leaving you today with some footage of Jackman Landing Campground. And until next week, this is Grassroots Living, reminding you to get down to the grassroots of what makes you happy and live your love. We're thinking of you. We'll catch you next time. Peace out. Today and not tomorrow, there's no time to borrow. Today, well, something's got to give. Today is a good